All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game two of this match in King of the Seas International playoffs between Ban CV and O7. Ban CV spawning here on the northwestern side of Trap, bringing in Ohio, Yamato, Double Moskva, Nevsky, Stalingrad, Gearing, Daring, and Shimakaze. Dads, talk to me about the O7 lineup. What are they bringing? 07 playing on the southeast side of this diagonal map, which means that the caps are a very long way away. Uh, they are starting with Ohio, Ohio Kremlin, Venetia, Double Moskva, a Stalingrad, a Daring, a Shimakaze, and a Haruguma. Uh, nothing surprising there. Um, Henning, anything you mm. want to pick up about the uh, the picks or the, uh, the strats? This is actually really, really standard from both sides here. Like, Bansivi obviously going for if you pick a cruiser, you take away the cruiser. And if we have the option, it's gonna be a 12 cam raider. Which is a thing. Looks like initially uh, 07 are going quite heavy on the north. They're taking a pack of four. They've got Harry Stalingrad, Mosva, Kremlin, Mosva heading up towards uh, Charlie. Ohio is in the middle. Daring looking at the B cap. And uh, Shima and Venezia are the only ships currently going towards A. And it looks like Ban CV are a little bit more. Uh, evenly spread out with a group of three going over towards A. Uh, I think to so... me I think to me the interesting ship in the line in the in the 07 lineup is the Venezia, right? Like Venezia on NA seems to almost routinely draw bans. Teams don't want to deal with it, they don't want to fight it, whatever reason. But Venezia is highly effective, of course, with those SAP shells against the the very tanky um Russian supercruisers, the Moskvas and the Stalingrads. And then, of course, obviously able to slap a destroyer around if you can spot one. The difference is, of course, she's totally reliant on the teammates, her teammates for spotting, which kind of potentially explains the pairing with the Shimakaze. But I am a little surprised to not see a Venezia playing where there's a radar. Yeah. That's actually a big issue here. They don't have a radar here, and they're going to fight against two radars on their own, so I'm pretty sure this Venezia is not going to see anything, honestly. Well, I yeah, mean, the, Price, the, 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 go ahead. I'd say the gearing is just going to lay a smoke screen. The Nevsky and the Moscow are going to sit inside it. The the gearing is going to spot the uh, going to spot the Venancia potentially, and the radars are going to spot the Shima. So yeah, I know I, I don't don't see how this is anything other than Ban CV's cap right now. Um, which means the O7 are going to have to make something happen with this massive pack of ships they're sending up to the ten line. Oh, there comes God, the Nevsky radar. Already already banging bring, um, <laughs> banging up Fry's here. Pushing him off the cap. Uh, yep, while laying that smoke screen all the way across for Kinemod, um, while Kytus actually takes the island. Um, I don't know if it's, is Kytus actually in range of. No, so Kytus is not quite in range of the daring on the B cap. But interesting to note, oh. Bansivi did spot one of the Moskvas on the 10 line, so. Maybe they have an idea what's coming here, because this is actually really unusual. Yeah, Look 07's like going for line. a super mega ultra heavy push up the 10 line. I'm not- I don't think I've ever seen them do this. It's a really weird minimap right now. If you look, like, if you put your hand over the 10 line, it looks empty from a 07 yeah. point of view, so... Like, it's like 350,000 HP on okay. the 10 line. So, yeah. so Henning, your, your, your ban CV, which is not half you to imagine, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you, see, <laughs> you see that there's nothing at B and an A, really. So you know something's up. How do you yeah. respond to this push when you realize it happen it's happening? We need to get more info. Yeah. But you have a good, you have a broad idea. Like considering these not even contested yet, that there's something going on either below B or on C. Well, they can see the smoke screen now. Yeah, I think they kinda have an idea. Like Blood Legend, for example, has a very interesting position here because of that already. And what so, I find interesting yeah. is they're, they're using Eagle Lance's smoke just to cover the gap, right? The ships are not going into the smoke. They're just using it to, to, to mask their advance as they as they move I, up behind it. I suspect that Ace Baby and the Kremlin will turn in while the cruisers go around. John might even turn in where Eagle is going. Yeah, I would I don't, I, to cover and and look at that game. Eagle. Look at that Eagle with the perfect... <laughs> The perfect smoke screen yeah. covering the entire gap. Well done. Look at that. That has been that's practiced. I'll tell you yes. right now. That has yeah, been Eagle, well thought out, I promise. Eagle Lance has done that several times in training to work out exactly <laughs> when to press the button, I guarantee it. Yep. Uh, yeah, yep. so so Harigamo with a legendary upgrade is able to lay that beautiful long smoke screen. 
Yeah, it looks like John's going to set up right there where Eagle is. You think they push them? Actually, you know, baby uh, Ace looks like he's going to keep going. You think you push both of them around the top of the cap? I mean, this is the play for 07. They have nothing else going on the map than this. They're going to follow behind on points drastically if they don't. Oh, no, they're, yeah, it's, and, and, and they have to know that going into this match. That's why I'm, they, you know, this is their strat. I'm curious to see how they're going to make it work because they have to know that they're going to start down at least 200 points by the time they're able to do much here. Uh, John the Ruthless of Stalingrad just poking out of that smoke. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, just down on the other rest of the map, uh, A is obviously uh, in green hands, uh, B is still contested, but Triarch being pushed off the cap there, um, daring probably, Sriva will probably take it uh, before Triarch can reverse back into the cap. Oh, Blood Legend just lost all his HP to a uh, oh, yeah. in the Ohio. Blood just got smacked. I think Marin locked them. You think so? I mean, Marin's got his plane up. It could have happened. Oh, yeah, there's a little saddle cut in this island. Yeah, I think it's exactly what happened. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna... Oh, no, here's uh, Snack... Oh, yeah, here's the replay. Yeah, Blood Legend got smacked from... Oh, uh, beautiful from, shot. From ...towards John the Ruthless. Yeah. Beautiful shot. Torps out towards Ace Baby from M. Brandis's, uh Shimakaze. But uh, nothing up there right now. Six and a half minutes gone. 07 does finally manage to get on the C cap and kind of slow the bleeding a bit, but they are still over 250 points down and continuing to, continuing to fall further behind as they've pushed just a ton of health, a ton of firepower up here into the extreme northeastern corner of the map. Yeah, I would say they, they need to make sure that this push um, keeps its momentum. They need to try and get Blood Legend if they can. Um, They're trying. Obviously they they need Marin's to do that without trying. overextending. The problem is that the, the more time elapses, the more time Bansi V have to respond to this. Because um, they have options, like Anle is there facing yeah. this direction. Um, so, you know, that they can get Snackman into a better position. So, they need to make sure that they do something decisive very quickly, otherwise they're just going to get stuck. More, more oh, Ohio what? shells coming in for Blood Legend. Yeah, but Eagle Lance adding that Harugamo nope. uh, firepower as well. Yeah, it's the Harugamo that's going to seal the deal if they can get it. Right now they've got him radared, but in a minute they're going to lose him on the radar. Uh, Ace Baby is actually pushing quite hard on that island now, so I think even if the radar... Yeah, the radar's down. Um, <laughs> but M. Brandis is obviously seeing this Kremlin coming. Oh yeah, he's drooling mm. at this. Oh yes. Tight channel, battleship heading towards it. Yes, That's please, right. says the Shimakaze. Deli delicious Soviet battleship. So I wonder whether Ace Baby's uh, spidey sense is tingling right now. Ooh. Torpedoes in the water. Have, have a look down on the J line. Frice is getting pushed very, very hard by Vile and Kinemod's Nevsky. In fact, Frice might end up being the first kill of this match. He's just trying to hang on to his dear, dear life by his fingernails. He's not going to do it. It's actually really bad. They can chase down the Venetia now. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's going to have to run across these torps as well. Actually, maybe the Ohio can save him because the Nevsky don't wanna, doesn't want to push too far into him. 07 now down a ship as they can try to continue to try to execute what I assume is this wheel around the top of the sea cap. But both both the Moskvas, Maltese and Ocean Man have kind of slowed down a bit waiting for Ace to push up and claim the kill on Blood Legend, which he does. So, as we quite often see on this map, um, you end up with one team pushing around the top and one team pushing around the bottom, uh, and then they all agree to just meet in B for a massive brawl. <laughs> I think we might see I would, something I like wouldn't that mind yet. a massive brawl. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. Do. Let's do it. Uh, so, uh, I think we will start to see that as... Because they're not going to push through the spawns, right? So, well, unless they do, I mean... We've got the Gearing and the Nevsky pushing the Venetia. Um, so, and if I think if you're Elgar in the 07 Venetia, you're going to want to try and pull the Gearing and the Nevsky as far away from the caps as possible. Absolutely. Because you're, you're one ship and you're pulling two ships. That's right. Um, so, so I think Elgar will keep kiting. But I think we might see um, Vile and Kinemod turn north in a second. 
07 now realizing that they they can't continue to let two ticks two caps tick up excuse me they've shoved eagle lances harugamo into the b cap to kind of hold it down a bit but their push or push around the top of the map continuing both the Moskvas have moved up now as Ace took a bit of a breather there after killing Blood Legend, and now he's pushing up as well. Angelstone taking quite a lot of ink on fire there from the destroyers <clears throat> down to uh, 57. He took a top as well. It might have been a bad. Yeah. yeah. He took That's a Harugamo Torp. He is flooding and burning simultaneously. He just the flood just expired. Interstone just uh, going and spotted there, and undoubtedly we'll just sit there and try and get a heal in while they wait for this push to arrive. Yeah. Because I think Banshee V have just said basically, so the Shima and the Ohio that are left, obviously the I Shima mean, is there to throw torpedoes towards, and the Ohio is just going to kite. I, I understand that you can't be too hasty. You have to wait for your pieces to get into position, but there's nine minutes to play, and Banshee V's about to be touching 800 points. Like, they're basically there. They're going to get there. So... You don't have much time. You've got maybe two to three minutes to start bagging a kill or making impactful plays. And I'm not sure where they're going to get a kill. Angel Stone seems to be the pick, but Angel Stone is pulling. Pull, that's my point. They're pulling him out already. They're going to rotate him back. And what are you going to You, you got to be able to try and keep eyes on him to, if you're going to make that play. And uh, they don't really have a ship to do that. You need to go for Unline here because he's the only Bowen ship that you can actually realistically kill, but it's gonna take a while. He's still full HP. He's full HP. If they could push him back, Marin would have a shot from his position, but I doubt Unline's gonna make that mistake. Are so, just gonna face tank this? Yeah, you have to burn down a, a bow on Stalingrad. Like, have fun with that. Radar out from Anlei Tung in Stalingrad above B. That catches pretty much everything. Both the destroyers and the camp are spotted. Marin is spotted. Marin is on super mega ultra fire there. Getting, getting, I mean, he's a little below half HP. We've seen him do a great job managing his ship's health, but starting to get a little uncomfortable there as Shriver's conga line torpedoes and the daring are coming his way. Another note Bansy V actually has such a big advantage that they don't even need B anymore. They really don't. 150 points. Yeah, I wonder whether they'll get to a point where they take Shriva out just to make sure that the daring doesn't go down. It's a 300 point lead here for Ban CV. Seven minutes to play. A couple of potentially impactful things happening here as Marin is going to take at least two of these conga line torpedoes. One on the bow, up two on the bow. I thought, I thought the second one might hit the belt, but not so much. They're trying uh, to make a play with their da own daring on B here. Would try our, but yeah, but look yeah. how, man, that is risky. He has nobody mm. to support him if Shriver decides to come around the corner. His job is to spot the Stalin got up. Uh, I was going to say, I think he's trying to get the Stalin, keep the Stalin locked up on Hydro. Yeah, he's just inside his Hydro range. That's, that was definitely the job. That is ballsy, yeah. but they've got to, they've got to make this play, right? Because it's, again, we're almost to 900 points here. Yeah, and Shriver is facing the wrong way to push around and, uh, and try and stop him. So Anlay is going to continue to take fire from... Uh, mainly, it's Ace Baby is probably the, the biggest risk here. Well, they're doing uh, a great job of farming Anlay out, but they need the kill. They can't... Like, every second that Anlay lives... Is he will die. More, less, less time. Oh, he will, but it's just less time that 07 has to deal with things. Every 900 yeah. points just passed with one cap yeah. definitely always ticking because there's absolutely no way the 07 can yeah. get A. That's that's my point. It's not going to stop with Enlight. They're going to need another kill almost immediately to get back yeah. into this. Well, they've, they've got to get a kill every, I, what are we, like 30 seconds or so so they can keep up with the points? Something along um, those lines, yeah. Problem is, um, if once... all Bansiv ships are running now and Enlight dies, Bansiv is still winning with that, even with yeah. B flips. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, good hit. I think they can literally Baron, just turn around and run. Yep. Baron snuck a shell in. They do get Anlai. So they're, they're 07 now on a ship lead. Triarch spotted. Well, he was spotted until, until uh, Shriver, um, Shriver smoked up. But now they've got to, they've got to get in. They've got to turn the jets on and get down the, get down the five, six line over here with the rest of these ships. 
But I'm I'm with you. They need more kills, and I don't because all the, I just don't yeah. think they're going to let them into A. Shriver is probably he, the 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 logical choice yeah. because he's kind of hung out. Put it this way: time if, to get into A. If, if Ban CV no. all turned around right now and ran to A, just ran into the corner, ran to the border. Um, someone from 07 has to get into A to stop the point yeah. sticking. They've got to get um, Shriver, but his cover is, but, is really good right there. So I. Th <laughs> Yeah, it, it's going to be very hard to uh, to make that happen. Uh, yep, Sriver is just, just hugged up against that island there. Vile is there to catch any of those destroyers that try and make a run for A. The Mosvar is sitting in the gap, the, in the entrance to A. Oh, I, I, I just don't see. The Venezia is turned yeah. around down at the bottom of the map, Elgar, uh, and he's yeah, pushing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pushing back. I mean, if they could spot Shriver and put the Venezia spotter up, like maybe get a, a good lucky salvo in there, but Shriver's position right now is just too good. The Moskva Stalin thing just feels like it kind of stalled out the last few minutes. That's, and yeah, maybe they can get the Snakeman on A1, actually. He's yep. running out of map. Yep. Yeah, but you've got. T with a heal. You're, you've, got, you've got maybe well, maybe a minute to chew through 35,000 HP. Like, you better get on it. You don't have a lot of time. And Brandis is putting the smoke up. They actually can't <laughs> yeah. see Snack Man. They have no, no eyes on him. That is great play there. That Just, is go. brilliant. What's that? What's that? You're running out of map. Don't worry. I've got you. Don't worry. We'll... Oh, Trilek right. is actually fighting Swiver right now, but Swiver has more HP. He might actually just Sriver... win this fight. Swiver has more HP and a whole lot of shells coming in for Triarch as both Daring's blow smoke here in the middle of the B cap trying to stay alive. 07 looking for a kill to stay in this game and stay in this match, but. I don't know where they're going to get it. They're running out of time. I think just, uh, it took so long for this push to come together. 960 points reached for Ban CV for a 2 0 win in this series against 07. Uh, oh, Angelstone. big hit on Maltese. He's been taking a lot of hits, actually, as he comes across on that push. Um, well, he put his radar up trying to catch Shriver. They do have Shriver now, radar in the smoke for a few seconds. But yeah, is it going to be also... enough? Like that's the kill they have to get, and mm. man, I don't know. How, I don't know how they're going to get it. Nine, eight, fifteen, what actually? fifteen, twenty seconds, maybe. They better hurry up. Eight thousand nine eight six points. This is going to come down to the wire whether they can get it this is. kill. Yeah, nine eighty eight, nine ninety. They know they have to bag this kill. There's the Venezia salvo. They get nothing out of that. Shriver's just sitting bow on as now he's healing a bit. 996, Correct. he's getting low, finally. 998, they got him! Oh! It's still 998, oh. it's still not enough, but it keeps them in the game a little longer. Oh, the Clemens with a bunch of Ace is gone. Oh, oh, Ace has got another salvo coming in. He's gonna dodge those. They need to bag one of these kills in time to keep things going. They have a two-ship lead. They will be able to convert the B cap, but man, they've got to keep killing ships or Bane CV is just going to win the game. My T side is almost dead here. He's at 10.9k and spotted. Oh, Gil's dark. Yeah, and 07, there that's the thing. 07 can't lose a ship. They cannot lose a ship. No, are there any shells heading for multis? Oh, yeah, there are. Snackman's getting low. 2k burning. Going out. 07, oh. there's the lead <laughs> change right there. The lead change. That's a lead change and two points ticking for uh, two caps ticking but for he's 07. Spotted again. He's at 1.3k. Oh, Multis cannot die Shuttles. here. If no, he dies, Shuttles. he's the... If he dies, that's going to be another lead change back. They can't afford that. Ah! Oh! Ugh. They've got to get a kill on the now. Border with 2.5k. They've got to get a spotted. kill. It's, it's, no, the Shimma's going out. They've got to bag the kill on the Shimma, but he smokes. Shell's going in. Shells are in the Not enough. Nope. 42 they, seconds um, on the timer. They can blind fire. They can blind fire. They know he they know the the Kremer. He ought to quaff the Kremer. They've got to kill the Shimakaze if they want to win the game. Here comes the Kremlin Salvo. They get him! I didn't 30 seconds the on the timer, either. but Ace has to live. Yeah. But Ace is going to die. Oh, no! Oh, man! 964. And now that's it. There's, there's nowhere else they can make a kill. There's 15 seconds on the timer. they got to get a kill. There's nowhere to get one. They can't see the Nevsky. He's the most likely choice, and they can't see him. Wow, what a finish. There goes the, uh, the clock. Ooh. We forgot about the clock. There goes the clock. No, I've been, keep, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it. 
Wow. Amazing game that was. Wow, what a finish. Absolutely Benzie fantastic. B goes 2-0, but man, 07, what a fight there at the end. What a claw. I, I, still, I still think that if they had maybe been just a little quicker on the pushes, it might have made a difference. Wait. I don't know that. There, where they they managed to get Ban CV up against that map border, and that caught three yes. of their ships. <laughs> yeah. As you said, yeah. if they if they'd done that a little bit earlier, yeah, maybe they could. Maybe. Oh, we saw them. I mean, they were really close. Um, because then they would have had the two caps. Uh, that would have been ticking. They would have had a points lead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That could that could easily have gone the other way. Because Ban CV wins this game despite being down two ships. Right. That's how long they had all that board control. That's the risk you take if you go for such a heavy wow. 10 lane push. Woo! What a finish! What a game. With that, we will go back to Prague for some final analysis, and I think we'll be seeing you guys in a second as well. Absolutely.